Back again, back again, and welcome back to the coding workshop. And in this quick video, I'm going to quickly sort of like walk you through how we implement middleware within our application. So, without further ado, we're going to jump straight into it. And I'm going to show you my implementation of how I'm using it within this particular um, application that we're building. So, this is the same structure that we've got, the same Magma Skeleton project that we've been working in. And within the application directory, I've got a middlewares directory. And that also contains two subdirectory, which is before and after. So let's put some context on middleware and how exactly it works within this particular framework. So if I take you back to some of the base core functions which is a core framework which is in our base directory and let's go and get our base controller so i need to put some context on all um well before we get to middleware let's try and let me explain to you how the filter system works within this application so this is our base controller object and uh, which all of our sub controller classes is going to extend into and um, what we're doing is if I take you back to our route, which is in here, when we create our routes, you can see we've got our controller and we've got our action, right? So this is our own controller and we've got that index action, right? So we've set a route or we set a method that we want to call within our controller that doesn't actually exist. Because if you look into our controller, we get our own controller you can see what we've got is we've got index action which is not the same as index right so what we're doing within our base controller class is we're using the php call uh, magic method and what that method does or what it does it, it executes when you're trying to call a method within an object that does not exist and what that what that allows us to do then is to recreate that method and execute that method but we can also do stuff before and after we call that method hence what you're seeing right here so we've created two functions one called before and one called after so we can do stuff before we call that method using that call user function and we can do stuff after so that is the basic principle of what we're doing with our before and after filter so we can execute code blocks before we call a controller and after we call a controller so fast forward to our middleware which is a component that i have not gone into a lot of details with with you guys but basically what it is is i've bring that middleware within my base controller class and i've essentially sort of like instantiate those um middleware in my filters in my before and after filters and i've passed that the current object to my middleware so we can access the current object from our middleware classes right so the middleware that we've got implemented provides a before before middleware and after middleware so we can implement code before and after just like what we've got with our before and after filter right so if you look at the code what we're doing right here we are instantiating our middleware object we're calling that middlewares method and we are passing in an array right and this is going to be an array of this is going to be an array of middlewares that we want to execute and we pass in the current object to that middleware function within this middleware class same thing for the after we're pretty much doing the same thing we're creating this object and we saw that we're creating this object variable and we're pretty much storing um, a copy of the current object with the parameters um, in the constructor and we pass in that entire variable 
to our middleware function so we've got access to the current object within any middleware that we're implementing right so this is where the middleware or this is where the middleware get integrated within our application so when we go to stuff like our home controller you can see that we are calling this method called that is called call before middleware we've also got a next one that is that is called call after middlewares and they are defined within the base controller and they basically just return an array which we are well return an array which we can define within our subcontroller classes of all the middlewares that we want to execute and the entire function then get passed back to the actual middlewares within that middleware component just like what you see right here call before middlewares which is this method which we're going to be implementing in our subcontroller classes and return an array of middleware that we want to execute a middleware that will run one after the other right so let's close this route this base controller and we go to our own controller so we've implemented that call before middleware method and we're returning that single middleware which we have defined for this um, particular class and this is pretty much how we do it it's an associative array that's got a key and the path to that actual class which is stored within um, if I go back to my middleware that is stored within or before directory so all the middleware that we want to execute before a controller is called is stored within this before directory and any middleware that we want to call after um, a controller is called is stored within this after controller which is stored within this after directory within within our middleware's directory so i've been messing around with this a bit i've been trying to think of the best um way of implementing certain features that i had implemented differently before and bef well before i had the middleware component put in so stuff like i can check that a user is logged or i can check that a user is um of the right credential before we before we log them in or give them access to certain private area within our application so it's up to you guys to sort of like use your imagination and think what do you want to do before you execute a particular controller or execute a particular method right so as i'm saying the middleware they're defined within our base controller which gives us access to those middleware or gives us the ability to return middlewares from any controller class that we that we that we create so there's a couple of stuff that we also need to take into account when we're creating our middleware so for instance if i go on to um, a simpler one like is already login is a middleware that checks that um, you cannot log in if you already if you already log in if you've already logged in it's going to redirect you back to where you're coming from and then flash your message as saying you are already logged in right a simple middleware and you can see that the middleware method that we define is called middleware it takes in two arguments which is that object that we've passed it from our base controller and the second argument is the next which is a closure which we're then calling the next middleware and we're passing in that object so that next middleware has access to that object as well so you can see that we can use that object to cool stuff that we've got defined within our controller so we can help to build the actual functions that we need to execute you can see we got access to the flash message redirect and the session component and these are all defined within our base um, controller class so this is essentially the markup for creating a middleware within our application and I'm going to show you where we hook it in so when you're creating a middleware again what I'm saying is you have to think about where you want it to execute do you want it to be executed before a controller or after a controller for example for this class for example I want this to be executed 
before I call a controller. So you want to bring in, you want to extend into that before middleware component, which is a class within the middleware component within our base actual um, framework. So you need to reference that actual class and call the middleware method and then execute the code that you want to be called that you want to call before we execute or before we um or before we call the method that we're trying to call so that's as simple as it is you know this is the pattern that you need to use when you're creating middleware for your um, controllers you declare your class that you want you extend the before middleware if you want to call a function before a controller or you extend into the after middleware if you want to call the block of code that you're going to write um, after a controller so where do hook where do where do hook these in so if i take it to our controller class like for example the ohm controller class you can see once we extend that base controller we can then use methods like this call before and we're simply returning an associative array with the middleware that we want to execute and that is as simple as it is and the middle that we're and the middleware that we're executing within this ohm controller is the as connection but again this is all a work in progress and i don't think i've actually got anything going on within this actual class so if i look into it let's see what i was doing uh, middlewares and it's before and it's as connection and you can see is something that i was doing which i've abandoned so i'm not going to actually be using that so i should show you an example of a working middleware um if you've seen the last video where i was showing you how to implement an alternative routing within you know, our router object um i touched on um the fact that when we were trying to log into our admin page we got booted out and we got displayed a message so i'll try and find you what that, what that middleware looks like or middleware the login require so basically this is the message that got flashed to us please log in for access so what we're doing is we're checking that the user is authorized that we've got a session and we can actually get the user object from that session id if not then we're going to kick you out and ask you to log in and this is pretty much what this middleware is doing and that is being called on um, let me show you what the class that's being called on if we're looking on our admin controller you can see that we've declared a call before middlewares function and we're returning four middlewares within this array and the first one that we got defined is that login required because that's required when you're trying to access a area like the admin section you need to have the right credentials and even if you you've got a session object and you're logged in you then get passed down to the next middleware which checks that you've got the right credential to make sure that you, you got the right access or the right permission to get into a area that's got a that's that requires certain permission to get access and if you pass that then we are executing different middlewares to check that you know you, you your id is not null check that session is not expired so you have to use your imagination in regards to your application that you're building if you think about what you want to execute um before you call certain controllers but the base implementation of middleware comes from um this middleware directory and again this is how I've structured it. You don't have to structure it like this. You can pretty much have all your middleware classes in just a main directory. And all you need to do is reference the right object, the right class um, based on how you're implementing the middleware, whether it's going to be before or after a controller. You have to call the before if you're going to execute before or call the after middleware if you want to execute after once you extend into that it's just it's not up to you to implement the logic which is going to carry out that action that you're trying but we always also must um call the middleware middleware within our 
middleware class, right? And these are a single method class. It's not point creating multiple method within your middleware. Just create one method and in one class and then create classes after class with implementation of what you want to or what you want your middleware to do. I hope that makes sense. The implementation of middleware is very, very simple. I mean, all the hard work is already done. Within your controller class, all you have to do is return this method with an array of middleware that you would have created to do what you wanted to do, right? So I hope that helps. Um, stay tuned for more videos coming up.